closings will and have happened. They've been happening every single day up to this point, your entire life, and will happen every day for the rest of your life. Um, how many people here, everybody included, came here with an open mind today? Okay, whether you did or you didn't, when you walk out that door, my goal is for you to have a different perspective on your business, right? And I want you to be able to see the path of a predictable business, okay? Whereas you know, when you walk out that door, what you learned today, I want you to know where you're gonna be in five years, in 10 years, okay? And through that process, also sell more property this year and next year. Now, perspective, I said perspective. That's a big word. That's a very powerful word. And this is what you need to focus on just for a second, okay? Because the actions that you take on a daily basis are all based on your perception, your perspective of these specific situations concerning your business and your life and your career and the industry, the way that you view the industry, the way you view the business shapes the way that you look at the business and that creates a scenario that where you base your actions on those perceptions which creates the results that you ultimately receive. So in my mind, if we can, if we want to change our results, then we have to change our perspective so that it creates different actions. Business is unlimited forever, right? The name of this session is Welcome to Your Real Estate Dreams, where business is unlimited forever. So let me give you the thesis, and that is this, and this is something maybe even to write down. Closings will and have happened. They've, they've, they've been happening every single day up to this point, your entire life, and will happen every day for the rest of your life. Regardless of market conditions, closings have happened your entire life every single day and will happen every single day for the rest of your life, regardless of market conditions. Now, as you hear that, it starts to open up your perception just a little bit, right? It starts to give you a little more confidence in the business in the industry, because a lot of people are scared about what? Markets crashing. Market crashing has nothing to do with your success or your, your production as a real estate agent. Closings continue to happen every single day. Closings are happening every single day, so why are we worried about what the market's doing? Why do we factor that into the actions that we take? You shouldn't, because it doesn't matter, because closings continue to happen. Now go back to the worst day in, in history of your specific market, and look and see how many closings have happened on the very worst day that you can find in the last 30 years. It's a lot of closings on the worst day. Take that number and multiply it by two, because you got a buyer and a seller. You got two opportunities. So multiply that number times two, and that's how many opportunities are happening that day. Another set was happening the next day, and the next day, and the next day. It's like these articles that try to scare agents by saying there's more listings than, uh, than agents, okay? Back when they wrote that article, things were selling in one day. So the 1.5 million listings and 1.2 million agents, at the moment that they wrote that article, heck, those listings were gone that day, and what? There's another 1.5 the next day, and another 1.5 the day after that. I want you guys to understand how abundant and incredibly unlimited, this really is. So happening, let's take the shutdown, the economic shutdown, which was the scariest moment, I would think, in, economically in the last 100 years. During that 45-day period, from mid-April to May 1st, during that 45-day period, compared to the same 45-day period the year prior, 80% of the same amount of closings, right, 80%. And you may think, well, those were already under contract. What's even more interesting is this, 80% of the same amount of pending deals were happening. So during that 45 day period, 80% of the same amount of people as the 45 day period the year prior were making offers, negotiating deals, ratifying contracts. Buyers had their masks on, they were docu-signing, ratifying, negotiating, and getting deals done. If, if market conditions are bad enough, what happens? The prices adjust to the level where people are, it's attractive enough, and buyers are still willing to buy. What does that tell us? What's the punchline? Buyers are still buying. They're still willing to buy. So what happens? Prices adjust in our favor. The market is like on our side as agents. It's moving wherever we need it to move 
to keep sales going. Isn't that amazing? Now, I want you to write something down. I want you to think of something. Right now, I want you to think in your head. I want you to think about what the biggest fear, okay, or the biggest excuse that you have right now that's holding you back. Just take a minute or two and think, and even if you don't have one, dig. Guys, if, if one entity could do all the business, I would have already figured it out and we wouldn't even be here right now. I'd be closing all the deals. Nobody can do it. You got billion, billion, billion dollar companies trying to figure it out. They can't figure it out. It's not gonna happen. It's a one-on-one -on -one business. It's a customer service business. It's a representation business. So when I start to realize business is unlimited, closings happen every day, it brings me to one more key point, which made me say, okay, let's go. And that was that competition doesn't exist. If you lose a listing, great. All that time you would have spent on that listing to get it signed and do the lot box and set up showings and do all the things and negotiate, do the closing. How many hours are we talking here? You just got all that back, future time, that you can now go out and get five more deals. You lose a deal, multiply it into five deals by not sulking about the lost deal and using that future time to actually be productive. You can't do anything about the lost deal, it's done. Go get more, it's unlimited, right? Five years ago, actually, I wrote two books, Zero to Diamond and List to Laugh. Okay, through that, those books took off, started speaking, I started writing, I started coaching, and I became the world's first completely free real estate coach. And I'm on a mission with that avenue of what I'm doing in my life to help you guys. And the overall mission statement is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, one agent at a time. <laughs> what I wanna share with you today, okay, because I talked about perspective and I talked about a building a predictable business. I wanna share with you guys my three laws of building a predictable business. The first law, visualization. You gotta see it before it happens. If you don't see it and you don't believe it, you don't think it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Pessimistic people have a negative outlook on what the future holds and what happens. That exact reality happens. Whatever you think about is what's gonna happen. You create your own fears. You create what you fear. If you fear it, that's what's gonna happen. If you have a call session, you think, oh, everybody's gonna cuss me out, I'm not gonna have a good call session, nothing's gonna happen good, what happens? That's what happens. Why? Because people, they feel it when you call, that that's what you think, and they think this is a negative person, I'm gonna hang up on them. Because everything that I talk about and write about and post about is all from my experiences. It's not something that I read in a book and I'm just regurgitating into content. This is my life. When I got back in the real estate business in 2008, there was a lot of foreclosures and I thought, you know, I, I saw foreclosure agents making all the money, 40,000 a month, 30,000 a month, 50,000 a month. And I thought, I want some of that. So I went down the road of being an REO agent. How do I do BPOs? How do I get signed up with How do I get on the list? I'm gonna work my way up to get these listings. So after about three months of that, I realized this is a dead end road here. There's way too much to this. Those guys got in early and got their names. But now at this point, I said, and, and you know what I realized? I realized those foreclosure agents don't answer the phone. No, 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 I'm not saying like, I'm not, sorry. Here I am stereotyping. However, from my, from my side, I'm thinking, okay, well, let's see how this plays out. These foreclosures right now are gonna be worth way more money later as the market rebounds. What if I represent buyers now while the market's down, right? While the market's down 50%, what if I represent buyers a lot of them and focus on that and go all in there. Yeah, a lot of work, show property, all this. I'm not sitting behind a computer, but I'm visualizing the fact that those buyers in two to three years are gonna sell those properties for a profit and then upgrade to something else and then refer five people to me over the course of eight years. So I saw an opportunity and I was able to visualize myself doing all this work for an explosive business over the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight years. And so I was able to visualize that, right? The, the visualization moment, let it come organically. Keep your head down and work hard, right? And you'll see, you'll start to see things. And as you start to see things, you'll start to visualize things, right? And then over time, you, you, you eventually create this game plan in your head where one day you wake up and you're like, boom, I got it. And then what happens? you go all in and execute. And this can help you build a predictable business. There's many, many, many visualization moments that I could share with you, right? And so these can be on a very small scale and it can be on a very large scale like the one I just shared with you. I, and really, that moment in 2008 was really what catapulted me to a place where I could close 100 deals 
by 2014. That was six years. Think about that. I visualized that, I executed, boom. So I want you to take just a second and I want you to write down your five or 10 year big visualization or what your big five and 10 year goals are for your business.